Steve Jobs was a polymath. Uh, Einstein was a polymath. It's a person that likes lots of different things. You know, music, art, uh, science, uh, athletics. Could be a whole range of things. An inquisitive person. Very inquisitive. Curiosity. I think I might be a polymath. Yeah. That makes me feel good. Yeah. Yeah, polymaths uh, essentially come up with all the ideas because they don't, you know, just... Because there's not one thing they're trying to focus no. on, right? They can take When they have just blinders on. Yeah. So, I mean, Brad's going to go through takeaways with you in a minute, but is it, so is it important that if I want to have any chance of getting the flow in these other things that I really ought to start thinking, you know, just become more inquisitive and questioning things? And yeah. You need to question things. Uh, but if you're setting up the environment, um, you need to look at you in particular, what sets you off. Einstein did it for 15 minutes. He'd be working on something and then he would just zone for 15 minutes and everybody thought, oh, the old fool, you know, he's, he's yeah, nodding see off. Now. And then he would come back and then he would write down all of the wow. things that he thought of during flow. So it, it's de depending on each person has to find what sets them off. You've, you've got to figure out who the people are doing the inventing, uh, who, what helps them get into flow, you know, what keeps them creative. And I mean, I mean, I think those are the key takeaways, right? Yeah. Creative environment. Right. So if you're an employer, please think through that right. for your employees, especially if you have a, a strategic online marketing plan or social is a very important part of your business, which it should be. <laughs> um, then you need to remember that, right? Yeah. And when they come to you and say, man, I'd really like a couple of days at home. Yeah. The Stanford report's available. Sure, you can go see sure. how they produce more and make more money for you. If you're an employee, right. you know, you need to be sure to try to figure out what your flow is, whether that's the walk in the park yeah. or kind of zoning out or shoot, I guess for some people it's a nap. It is. You know, take a nap and come back and yeah. get refreshed and something. Listen to music, whatever yeah. whatever that is. Sometimes you can be in a super loud environment, uh, generally without words, like a jazz band in New Orleans, mm -hmm. and you don't listen to anything they're saying. But what it does, it provides this huge sound barrier of and aloneness, so you can come up with a zillion ideas. So oh, go to a concert, yeah, yeah. And have a drink, and just <laughs> flow out, you know, while you're in the concert. Wow, really interesting. Okay, are you feeling the flow? We are uh, Rodney Hill, Dr. Rodney Hill, Futurist, Texas A&M. We really appreciate, <laughs> really appreciate your talk your time. Sure, this, sure. And I think there will be a lot of people that are going to walk into their bosses with some <laughs> yeah. unusual Well, request. those clarity guys. Yeah. All <laughs> but, right, that's oh, Go ahead. Well, no, but one of the things, too, if somebody's looking at we're going to have to add more space or build another building, or they could have a whole series of employees that are oh. working at home, you don't have to build a new building. You don't have to worry about parking lot, traffic, a whole range of things. There you have I it, guys. I think AT&T has 40% working uh, at home. Wow, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, well there is the uh, Clarity Clip of the Week. Part three, ending on creativity. And you can learn it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Have a good one, guys.